Hey, yo, episode 285? Five. We made a podcast back in the building. 285. 15 away from becoming a whole, um, oh, even though <laughs> yeah, Holly's back in Ukraine uh, doing her thing, but um, you know, maybe for, for the pop culture thing we can talk about if a gun is a snitch or she, not. she actually accompanied Zelensky to the white house meeting that's why she's kind of out right now we can we can talk about if gun is a snitch or not for the pop culture segment yeah yeah yeah. i saw young thug smiling though so my heart felt better <laughs> um but yeah we made a podcast we're back in the building um hopefully next week we can be releasing the uh we made it movie music and tv awards mine are bangers dog okay. i got some bangers he did them in, in 10 minutes ago but okay no okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and hopefully holly will be here for that yeah. um i mean damn at this point i hope she's okay yeah i know she's been working hard she has a new job or in ukraine so you know she she's been, been the new assignment's been tough on her delivering supplies you know what i mean yes, um, yes. frontlining it but yeah, uh, you know, obviously we are a few days away since the World Cup final that Caesar loved. Um, but you know, we want to kind of recap the World Cup. You know, um, a lot happened. You know, it was our first time in our lifetime a winter, uh, some uh, fall World Cup. You know, there was a. I mean, just to start off, like it's funny that there was so much controversy in the beginning, like when it came to rainbows and like, can I wear this thing? And that stuff died out pretty fast. Like <laughs> after like the first like game was like really fun. People were like, all right, whatever, dude. And also like, there's just so much, so many world cup games that it just gets lost. Like it was like a game, three day games a day for like almost two weeks, you know? And then we had the tournament, then drama, then penalty kicks. It was just was gone. The only yeah. thing I thought that was really weird is Grant Wall passing away. It was just strange, but, you know, condolences you a, to his family. Are you a conspiracy theorist about it? No, I just thought that was strange that he passed away. Well, people die all the time. What's strange about People dying? don't just randomly die 42 years old, uh, away, traveling away from work. That never happens? Okay, I didn't say oh, no, no, it. I'm asking, happens. are you? You're con- making those statements. I'm asking if you're a conspiracy. No, I just said I thought that was weird. He's a young. He's not an old reporter. He's a young guy. So you think Cutter? How many him? reporters you see dying at young age all the time? It's it is news. Like when that leftist one, that is news. It's sad. No, no, you say strange. Like you think Cutter killed him? No, I didn't say that. That's kind of crazy. You're trying to throw me now. I'm, you you got to get in your gun on right now, and I can respect it. Caesar, I'm asking. I didn't say that. All, okay. This is my sentence. You said strange. I said that that was strange that Grant Wall passed away. People die, all in, people die every day, B. <laughs> hey, man. Well, all I said is I think it's strange that Grant Wall died. Okay, well, the one thing that about it, like when he did die, and we're all off topic, or whatever. Um, when he died, like it was either he got cut or killed him, or did he get vaccinated? Like that's, li- that's literally like all I saw in the responses. I don't know which one you are, but I, I'm cut that vaccinated him. <laughs> but um but oh, apparently, God. apparently he did go to the hospital the day before about some chest pain oh no yeah That's so a, um so condolences that, to the wall family yeah i know i said some i was very upset during the show about the tweet he did but of course condolences then passing away I oh, know we used to like argue with him. I, like, well, I used to argue with him on the um. Me too. When we made when it he, especially when he's MLS Andy mode. Yeah, no. When uh, in the old MLS Twitter days, uh, for mm-hmm. sure, used to get at him. Him and MLS um, transfers. Yeah, but you know, shout out to his family out there. Yeah, of course. Better. Um, but yeah, you know, there was a controversy in the beginning, and a lot of stuff about um, Kata even hosting the World Cup got flared back up in the beginning of the tournament. Um. <clears throat> Jeez, I tried to. I, I tweeted at a Guardian journalist. I want to say his name was Barney Rose or something like that. Um, because he's been critical of the World Cup being in Qatar or whatever, been critical of the Qatari government. And I, I asked, like, okay, should we keep the same energy for BN and for PSG? Like, should, like, you know, people boycotted this World Cup. People were like. I don't want to have nothing to do with this World Cup. There was like I have friends that boycotted. Yeah, there was like shame about this World Cup, 
being in Qatar because because of Qatar itself. And okay, like if that's what you want to do, that's great. But I'm like, okay, we also have a major media network in the world being sports that you no, know, forget about Al Jazeera, which is like, you know, its own thing, but being is like in this realm, should they be getting boycotted too? Like they're benefiting from the same thing that the World Cup benefited from. And should PSG be getting that same energy? Like his response is very, um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to read it. What are we doing here? Caesar's yawning and falling asleep already. So you might as well. Um, so um, I tweeted him and I said, Real question, should we continue our critique of Qatar in regards to PSG and BN Media, or do you feel like they are different than the Qatar World Cup? And his response was, this has been going on for years and will continue. I don't even, like, what, you didn't even respond to the question. And I I, I tweeted him again, he didn't answer, but I'm just, but some some other person saw my tweet and responded to him saying, so what so what is the point of writing this? You are simply saying nothing will change. So your article is not worth reading. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, like well, I don't even think he knows what he really, really I don't want to be mean, but I, I like I don't even think it sounds like he really knows what he's digging into. I think he's just like Or cares. Or, or cares. It's like, oh, the hit piece is gonna be about Qatar hosting a World Cup because that's something everybody's complaining about. But it's like, hey, you know there's other teams that are owned by Qatari state, you know, there's this, there's uh, other organizations, other prominent media channels that have access on media American television. Yeah. And English that are state America. funded yeah. mm -hmm. and they run English. They have operations in America, you know? So I don't see you saying the energy, like what are we okay with just cable news networks that, that, you know, are being funded by the same dollars that you feel like is blood money. And slave money in America as well too, because like I said, you know, you want to. If, if it's about, I don't have a problem with my friends that I know, you know having an issue with the World Cup. The two things I said to them is this: Are you doing this consistently across the board with anything that's state funded with Qatar? And why did why is it eight years now an uproar? Why is it now? I I I don't really, I I think that the only thing I really cared from the Ronaldo Piers Morgan interview that he said is when they asked him about the, being in the cut that how do you feel about it he's like well, the pitch is already there they're already playing it's like I'm just gonna go play it's all that matters like it's like it's already going on I wish you guys kept this energy before dropping the the FIFA uh, conspiracy documentary a week before the World Cup why did you do that not because you're editing this whole time. Because you wanted to time it well because people are going to watch soccer. You timed it to make the most profits off of it. You didn't time it based upon your passion for making a change. So I, I just don't care. And the stuff they're dropping, I feel like we covered even deeper than that in the last five years. Of course. Um, yeah, it's just really unfortunate that um, – it's really unfortunate. That's a that lame-ass answer. It, Such it, a lame answer. Yeah, it's He could have really said anything. He could have said like – yeah, we should definitely focus on that too. Boom, yeah, that'd be fine. It. Is it, yeah, this but has been like, going on for a long time. It's like okay, but like, does that matter? Like, you're you, like he's written so many critical pieces about Qatar in this World Cup. I'm like, okay, I'm not somebody like I watched it, like whatever. But like, BN is huge. Like, BN is an international media network. Mm -hmm. PSG is a huge team, like a big team in in the and like in the world not just in France, you know, and not just in Europe. Like they're a big team around the world. Why should they be exempt from that same criticism? Like you said, if Qatar is making their money off blood, if it's blood money and slavery money, it's not like those people, those slaves are leaving after those stadiums are built. That is the system. That is the monetary system in Qatar. We drill the oil and slaves build the buildings. Like, okay, what, what are we doing? But, you know, I'll respond to him at some point and maybe I'll try to find some other uh, media people to like talk talk to about this. But it's just really unfortunate that at least for him, like he didn't really seem to care. And it just seemed like, you know, just some clickbait. Yeah. Um, but back to the World Cup itself. Um, 
obviously the the it started off with Qatar versus Ecuador. Ecuador beat them 2-0. Um, we saw England beat Iran 6-2. Um, I don't want to focus on every game, obviously. Like, I yeah. feel like the teams here for us that were like the teams to watch, sadly, naturally, is U.S. men's national team, Canada, um, Brazil, for me, Uruguay, even though I wasn't really tripping that much. <laughs> like, I didn't really have no expectations for them. <laughs> um mexico for us too like we're here mm-hmm. um then there's like the big teams i mean you're gonna keep an eye a on little bit of costa rica a little bit uh, you're gonna keep an eye on england obviously just because epl you're gonna keep an eye on france you're gonna keep an eye on argentina um i think we both like japan and south korea mm-hmm. to an extent um you know, and some of the African teams too is good to want to see yeah, what, how yeah, they were going to do. Yeah, we want to keep an eye on the African teams. Like so. I, I, I wasn't really concerned or watching much Morocco, but for sure, like Senegal, I want to see how Senegal is going to do. I was watching Cameroon's games, you know, see what kind of results are going to pull that that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, Cameroon beat Brazil. Uh, they did. I mean, and, and the the game that Brazil qualified already. Yeah. You know. See, 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 see. Yeah, you had to do it. You couldn't just let Africa have it. You couldn't do it. <laughs> Not the whole Africa, just Cameroon. Um, but the round of 16, we saw the Netherlands uh, beat USA. I mm-hmm. mean, whatever. I'm not going to get into all that. Basically, um, we got to the semifinals. Argentina beat Croatia. France beat Morocco. Um, and then we got to the final. Um, the final was crazy. It was 2-0 for forever. Um, literally up until the 80th minute, it was 2-0. Mm-hmm. Um Mbappe came came with uh who won that penalty? Um was it Dembele? I forgot who won that penalty, but um Mbappe nailed that penalty. Then was right it? after that scored that um that volley or half volley. Ooh. A low, low one too. Yeah, I think it was. I think it might. It was. A, it was a volley. It was a volley. It was a volley, right? Yeah. And that ball was like slicing on the ground. I was like, God damn, Jesus yeah. Christ. Um, and then it got another penalty in extra time. Um, and yeah, then unfortunately it went to penalties. And uh, of course. Zlatan said that Messi was that Argentina was going to win no matter what. He said that a while ago. He was like, Argentina's going to win it. Like, don't even worry about it. And I'm like, see, man, damn, dog. But it's hard to be like, even if you wanted to, it's hard to be like, oh, it was rigged because some games was going down to the wire. It's like, if it was rigged, nobody told him Mbappe. No, no. No one, if it was rigged, no one would tell Mbappe, you need to score eight goals in this World Cup and you need to have a hat trick in a final. Yeah. Someone would have told him to stop trying after it was 2-0 for a long time. Something happened where he was like, you know what? This can get it. We can get it cracking still. Yeah. Um, I like in that match for sure. He's like the player of the match. He scored like he he put three penalties in the back of the net and scored another goal. Um, but and every goal he had was a major impact one. Like it was like the one that tied it, and then he had the one that brought him back, and then they they had like a lead a little bit too, right? Where they always no, they never got a lead. They only tied. They never got a lead. No, because, they're only able to tie it. Yeah, they never. Yeah, got a lead. because Messi Messi scored again in the hundred eighth in extra time. That annoying ass goal, and then um, and then there was another penalty late. That handball, which was the shot that Mbappe shot too. Um, it was a handball, and it definitely was an elbow. Um, but yeah, I mean, it went to penalties, and the most annoying thing about Argentina is they have a guy named McAllister. Very annoying. Um, they're saying he might go to uh, Atleti. I'm like, yeah, just let him go there, dude. Please, <laughs> I did. Not. I never see him again. Um. Yeah. When when I used to watch Brighton, like on Supreme Games, I didn't know that was like an Argentinian guy. The most annoying. I, th- I, I thought it was an English guy. Literally think that he's literally Scottish. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, like whatever. I'm like, I'm like a Scottish cam. That's kind of gangster. I'm like watching him play, and then I was like, I should call him. I'm like what? <laughs> there, there, there's another guy. Uh, oh, Foyth. Oh, that 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 bothers me too. Yeah, I was like, like, dude, I was like what is this? Is this guy Romanian? What's for He sucks too. Um, yeah, he was. But he just did have that one move though. It, it's just funny that um, 
you know, we always heard about Argentina, like why they weren't winning is because like the team around Messi wasn't good enough. And I feel like this is like the worst team. Like when you're looking at like talent wise, like these guys are not like, oh my God, by any means. It's, and- it's, a, it's a lot of people suddenly riding the Julian Alvarez train and then they're saying really disparaging things about like about how much better he is and how he's better than Kun Aguero and everything. Uh, and, I'm like, uh, I, no. and I'm like, I'm like, that's really mean. They're because different it's like, players. I'm like, they're, they're, t- they play totally different styles. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, that's so grimy to Kun Aguero. I'm like, he, 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 he you know why it. they're doing that? They're fat phobic now. They're fat phobic. He got a little chubby now and they're starting to be mean to him. Like, that's dog, no, dog. Kun Aguero is, is fantastic. Um, and c- players built like that don't come around very often. He has like a different, unique build. Like, Kun Aguero is a very standard soccer player build. He's a soccer player. Well, I- I'll say this. Kun Aguero, I, I- I'll say this much. Kun Aguero's style wasn't a traditional center forward, and I oh. think that because of that, he does probably clash with Messi more because Kun Aguero likes to drop back a bit. They're best friends, but they didn't play the best together. Yeah, Julian, Alvar- Julian Alvarez is a traditional center forward. Like, he's yep. making the runs and he's going through the channels. He's doing dirty work. Yeah, so, so yeah, that makes sense. But it's not like, not. I'm not saying that to say, like, Kun Aguero is a better player than Julian Al- Alvarez, but they better – look, I was talking about him – Early, I I had tweeted that that might be the steal of the transfer window, uh, City getting over fifteen million euros or I mean, pounds they, or whatever. They, I mean, that wasn't just a steal. They had they had the best transfer window. Like, I mean, and, they and, got and, one guy who's leading the league in Premier League, and another guy who just damn near won a World Cup with Argentina. Like, yeah, and like they, they scored. They, the goals. they they did it all. They got to win, and they got to win. Like, they have yeah, to win. Literally. So, I mean. Yeah. He's a good player for sure. And I think he did uh carry I don't say carry, but he did a lot of that, like the he did a lot of work for Argentina. Like I think he earned that, a spot because in the beginning he wasn't starting. Lothado was no, starting. No, yeah. And he yeah, he earned and, that spot for sure. And I was telling Bam Lothado doesn't score goals, so it's don't even worry about this. Yeah. Remember like, even where T- Texan he was like, Oh, he just scores shows. Ooh, I'm like, it's okay, he wasn't gonna score it. It's, just, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not I'm not saying that was a bad player. But he he, he, sucks he, now. he 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 he's stagnant because he's in Italy, in my opinion. I think he's an inter, like he's in a stagnant place. He would have been, Ooh. I think, a sensational player if he went from Argentina to like even England or Spain. Well, I, but being at Inter, it's kind of like uh like I think after that good season that he had with uh with Lukaku, he should have like, moved because I think he's comfortable. Left. I think he's yeah. on he's boss mode out there. Yeah, you know? exactly. You're comfortable and, cruising. Yeah, and then our, watching him play, I'm like He's not in form right now, and that ball is not going to go in. It just was not at all. Like... Yeah. I mean, he probably – I mean, Julian Alvarez is faster than him. Like, he's probably just got more energy than him right now. I know. Yeah, he's, been, he's clearly – like, you can tell he's, like, coachable. He's working hard. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, he's humble. He's going. He's grinding. So Yeah, I, for sure. I, he deserved it. Argentina, like, say what you want. Like, I, I, I don't even like saying these things. I, I despise Argentina very much, but they won that joint. Like, they really did that. I mean, they well, they went on penalty. They want they want it in PKs, um, you know, they are in that win. That that's that's a very hard team to beat, and they did that. So yeah, you know. I mean, like when you look at this lineup, like you got some dude named Molina, you got Christian Romero who is whatever, you got He's just Ota- a Fowler. Yeah, Ota- it, literally, and I feel like he should have got a red card. Actually, he should have. No, me too. He, I agree he too. didn't even get a yellow card. I'm saying no, like, he did. That was fouls, dog. Mm-hmm. He had some um, elbow and, and forearm checks. I'm like, crazy. you can't do that, dog. He um, learned from Ultimendi, that's why. Ultimendi didn't even get a yellow card, but Ultimendi starting in Tagliafico, who's like kind of washed now. Like he's he, not he was playing a, good defense, though. But but he's not even a regular starter for Lyon. No, this is the worst team Argentina played. Hence, by example, at one point, they had Acuna and Tagliafico in the game at the same time. Those are two left backs. <laughs> it was so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Literally, their midfielders was... Rodrigo DePaul, Enzo Fernandez, and McAllister. A dude, like a, a guy for Brighton, like, Atleti, Atleti Buff Man. And, and uh, yeah, Brighton, Benfica. I think Enzo Fernandez plays for Benfica. And Rodrigo DePaul, who is like not even somebody you think about at Atleti. No, like, now you don't even think about him. No, he's swole, though. 
Yeah, but remember when uh, Benicius bucked him that time, though? Never, I'll never forget that. I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. All you do is lift upper body. Benicius hit you with that lower body. He went flying. <laughs> show muscles, just show muscles. Yeah, it's show muscles. <laughs> all um, compound. <laughs> literally, and then and then uh, who started in the finals? Messi, Alvarez, and Di Maria. Like, you know who looked really kind of whack? Dima looked so whack to me. He scored that goal, but it was—I mean, it was—it wasn't—it was an easy goal. But uh, I know he's, I, I'm. What am I doing? I'm just hate. They won. Let me stop. What am I? Doing? But but to be honest with you, like they won, but they won on penalties. Like it was a it it was. That's gonna be a game. Remember for a long time. That was crazy. It was a, it was, it was a crazy game. It was a, a, a game. I I'll keep it real about the World Cup final. I woke up, and I turned it on, and I accidentally fell asleep, and I woke up at halftime. I was like, no, it's down 2 0. I'm like, oh my God, this is what happens when I don't watch. I was so mad. I was sitting there and I was pretending like I've been watching old time, texting me. I'm like, yeah, I was <laughs> dead ass asleep. And then I, I was like walking to make a, a grocery sandwich and all of a sudden it's like, I was like, what the f- what? And then it started getting nuts. And that it was like a, a pretty pretty wild after that from that, that point on. Like, I think sure. it was like the first goal was like 60th or 80th minute, right? 80th minute? 80th, yeah. Yeah, it, it got nuts after that. To be honest with you, I also don't feel like France started their best team. Like, I don't love no. Rabio starting. Like, I don't no, care what he did. No, I don't love it. I feel no. like regardless if Rabio played well or not, you have better players, and I, I don't even like Veron starting. And I, I don't want to be mean about Veron. I didn't think Veron starting was that great. I'm like, I thought, like the fact that Konate had to come off the bench was kind of nuts to me. Like, and then when he came off the bench, he was like an instant impact. Yeah, he should have been starting for sure. I, I don't know what Deschamps was doing some wild stuff. I, I don't really know what's going on there, but yeah. I mean, but, you, even even I feel like uh, Dembele had a bad tournament. Like, I don't think oh he should have started. He didn't no. do jack shit. He definitely. I, Barcelona shit, dog, honestly. Yeah, so, like, I feel like, I mean, of course I'm a ride for Guendouzi, but forget about him. You got to start Fofana instead of instead of Rabio. Fofana looked great. He looked yeah. great the whole tournament. It, you could tell he's going to move on. That's a great Monaco player. Fofana was ha- uh, aggressive, high energy, a good player. Caesar, I didn't even, I'm just seeing right now, I didn't even know they even brought Saliba to the tournament. They brought Saliba, they, their, their back line. They could have ran Conante and Saliba. They could have even ran a big, big, giant uh, free safety Diasi. Uh, Sassy, with, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, like, I, when I started Ron, I'm like, Ron is going to start? Like, and, I'm and, not hey, That's my boy. Like, like me, I, but I'm like, I don't, I wouldn't say, I, I think he's a great option for them right now, but I wouldn't say he's the best informed French center back, not even the top starting. So, no, he's playing at Man U. Yeah, dog, like, and you, dog, and, no and way. You, and you know what? To be honest with you, if it's me, I'm gonna start. What are you Kem- starting? I'm gonna start Kamavinga. I'm gonna start Chuamani and Kamavinga because Kamavinga played against. They played against PSG last season. You know Kamavinga is gonna like put mess in his pocket like he did. He, when he, he absolutely did. Every, it's all everybody talked about. Yeah, like there's nobody on this team. Not even Chuamani, like the people that are going to be able to like be a and you know what I was going to say Griezmann, but Griezmann, he's a cuck. Like he's not gonna he's not gonna actually like defend on Messi. Like he's not gonna. Uh, Kamavinga is gonna make sure Messi can't do whatever he wants the whole time, and for sure pick up himself a nice yellow card. He, he, he. Which I'm down for, and that's why you can you have five subs for though. Exactly. Um, um, you look look. I think if I'm France, my midfield is because. It's great that you've been starting Rabio. That shit's cute, but I think you're addressing Messi right now. Messi's yeah, and they're and they're doing having a, a tournament. Two, they're running a four two three one. Look, just put Kamavinga out there in the beginning because it doesn't hurt you in the beginning to have a good defensive option, no. right? It only hurts you to have an offensive option that maybe will get you punished defensively. So have a good defensive option, and and let's say offensively, like I'm just not getting what I want offensively from Kamavinga. Like fine, right? Let's say that. You have options on the bench. You can bring in your fake ass Rabio that you think is good. Whatever you can do, whatever you want after that. But Star Kamavinga, Tuchemi is not a shutdown defender. What Tuchemi is, he's a facilitator. He's an it, absolute facilitator. It, he's a two way facilitator. He's physical. That's different. Kamavinga is has abilities all over the place. He's and a Tasmanian devil. He's Tasmanian, and he has. He's literally. A, I think he's literally defensive specials. Like he, For sure. he will get you those tackles. He's yeah. tenacious, and he just he looks like he's never tired. He's always running all over the place. Yeah. 
So yeah, I would have sure. definitely wanted to start. If you want to be like edgy and 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 bring some 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 uh, if you want to make Argentina uncomfortable early, that's what you need to do. You need to have players like that to make them be like, oh, they're not bringing what they brought all tournament. This is a little different here, and you're not going to be punished because you always have Mbappe up top. Yeah, you, you got Mbappe, you got Dembele, yeah. With Mbappe and Dembele, like you actually you can do whatever you want back then and get get experimental, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Salibas I, are like the number one team in the Premier League right now. What the hell? He's an Arsenal dog. Literally, honestly, I feel like, like I feel like no matter what anybody says, like Rabio is just like does not deserve to start on France right now. I blame Rabio, and that's the name of the damn uh, episode. Rabio. Rabio's goals and what he's done is something that any midfielder on that team could have done himself in those same positions. Easily. He never did anything that I was like, God damn, thank God Rabio was never. the guy there. No. That's <laughs> never been said in life, ever. I actually feel really weird saying that since. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, shout out to Messi and them. Um, Mbappe got the golden boot of the tournament, scored a I bunch mean, of goals. 12, 12 goals and two World Cups is buck wild, I'm not gonna lie. This man yeah, is, I mean, he's, this man you know, scores goals. Yeah, he's writing down his name in history for sure. Oh yeah, we're 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 oh. here for it. This is the beginning. Whatever you know, like Messi got the World Cup, and then the Ronaldo thing is going on. We're starting to see that 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 page turn in the chapter. You know that the page is turning, and we're gonna see these new faces emerge and whatever the hell is gonna happen next. Um, for sure, I feel like Mbappe um has like obviously they lost the game, but I think he's like cemented himself in like the top three or top, two, you know, top two, or maybe even top one. I think right now people are going to say Messi's the Messi. Because he just won. They're going yeah. to give but, Messi a swan song, which, fine. Whatever. You wanna, that's, he that's, deserved it. He yeah. won a World Cup. He deserved a swan song. But, you know. I'm right now, me right now, you ask me, and Bobby's number one. It's just, yeah, for sure. I, it's, it's, it's without a doubt. Like Unfortunately, I mean. Holland is never going to play in the World Cup and probably never. He even will. I doubt it. Erling Holland. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Can you, can Caesar, you what team does he play for? And who, who's what nationality is he? He's Norway. He plays Norway. He's Norwegian. Yeah, they're never going to be in the World okay, Cup. Okay, okay, okay. Look, can you wait a little bit? No. <laughs> First of all, the World Cup is going to get increased. Oh, that's right. You're right. Okay. So okay, slow down. I, slow down. Who gays? He's going to. Well, it's fine. I want that. He's <laughs> going to play the World Cup. They're going to give me more games. I just, and it's going to be on this time zone. I'll be fine. <laughs> you want to give me more games in my time zone? Great. If the games are going to be in Australia, now we got a fucking problem. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, not okay. doing this 4 a.m. joint no more. I think I lost a little bit of my life this World Cup. <laughs> Literally. I think that maybe, okay, so yeah, he might end up playing in the World Cup. He but... is going to be in the World Cup. It, Bobby was talking about that mess. I, y'all have people like, Poland getting through? I don't believe it's that crazy to make it out of UEFA to get to the World Cup. Poland got through, and you see that team, Switzerland? Get the get out of here, dog. Me, first of all, get out of here. What's the big difference between Switzerland and Norway? What? Plenty, plenty, plenty. The, uh, a two-degree weather change? Nothing, dog. There's nothing plenty different. What, they got a kanji? Name three players. Caesar, Caesar. Can Rodriguez, I just say- a kanji, and who else? Shakiri. Same dudes from last World Cup. Caesar, can I say this? There's the Euros and there's qualifying for Euros and Norway they doesn't. They got play. Odegaard and the fuck and then Joshua King, whatever that boot bozo is, and they got Holland and Holland. They're gonna make it to a World Cup. It's UEFA. Anybody can get in. They got Bosnia one time. They're playing Macedonia sometimes, dog. It's all good. Okay, anyway, uh Mbappe got the golden boot. Um mm-hmm. he did his thing. Sadly, yeah. Dembele was trash, but um do you feel like this also like solidifies Mbappe like over Neymar too? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it honestly he could have been solidified in the last World Cup that he won. Okay, he's won a World Cup, my friend Neymar. Um, yeah. Uh, Mbappe came back. There was already talks that the the star the person is Mbappe. You already lost the the face. There was like shopping you around, and no one was biting. Um. And also this World Cup, both of your teammates went to the final, and even your damn fullback went to a farther than you for Morocco. Semifinal. Neymar, Hakimi plays from Morocco, dog. He got in the World Cup with Morocco and got to the semis. 
Can you get to the semis? Sorry. Yeah, um, Morocco oh, beat and, and also Morocco beat Portugal and and Brazil lost to Croatia. Ugh. We lost to Croatia. Had a, had lost to Cameroon and, and Croatia. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, Caesar, here's a question. Mm. By it, the way, Croatia beating Brazil was their first win in the World Cup. Damn! Wait, they they had they only had draws before that. I think they don't. I think they went OT almost every game, and they tied only. Right? Did they win anybody? Did they beat well, anybody? Oh, like, did they? Oh, yeah, because they 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 beat Japan on penalties. Yeah. Um. Did they only have draws? Yeah, they drew Belgium zero zero. Let's see. Um. Dog, you could be right. No, they beat Canada. They beat Canada. Okay. They'd be kind of wow, <laughs> we're we're at the level of Canada. Like Croatia really just tied their way in and went to OT and penalties all the time, and we couldn't beat that team. So I mean, Brazil, whack, fell off. L plus ratio. <laughs> I'm yeah. not even Brazilian no more. <laughs> Stupid. Um. Okay. Well, Caesar, here's the real question: mm. Are you ready to crown Messi goat, greatest of all time, by himself? I've been thinking about this a lot. <laughs> I've been sitting in my room, look at the the paint like this. I want to say one thing before I give my answer. Go ahead. Let it be said that I don't want to hear if we had been switching countries around here, the story would be different. If maybe Messi was born on a tiny African island, he'd have a harder time winning a World Cup, you know, uh, in Europe. But He's born in a country that people are giving excuses for, saying it's, all oh, these players are so bad. Uh, I'm like, no. And also, one player quit on his team. The other one didn't, okay? Um, I'm going to give Messi the penultimate win. I don't have many things I like to subscribe to in terms of, like, what constitutes. But for me, since I was a kid, the number one thing I feel like has been, like, winning the World Cup. Um and I do feel like Portugal has a pretty good team. I don't think Portugal is a bad team. I think they have a pretty good team, too. Um, I think that for a majority of Messi's life, he's had much better teams for a majority of his 20 years of playing. It's like everything started to get good for Ronaldo at the end of his career and pretty much all inspired by his success, to be honest. Like, the reason that country even started popping off was because of him, really. Like, I'm sorry. Like, he... He won a mate. He won Euros for Portugal, which is the first time in history, which is massive for them. But that journey getting to the finals kind of goofy too. <laughs> it was like you beat Wales, yay! <laughs> but uh, they won. I'm gonna just give it to Messi. I think Messi is the best. You know, um, I, I think that there's been a lot of unfortunate circumstances. It's been a weird year for Ronaldo and what's going on. It's been wild out there. It's been wild media I mean, attacks. I mean, what about but, even? Okay, go, 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 go. But but I'm right now how I feel in the moment, and I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm just gonna be like, you gotta give it to me. I mean, he he won the damn World Cup. Like he won the World Cup. It's just that's that's how I feel. Like you won. It's like it's like an NBA, but like, oh, who's better? Yeah, yeah, he's better, but like damn dog, he never won the he, Chris Paul never won a, a chip though. You know what I mean? So it's like he won the thing that you're supposed to win, you know. Okay, but you're gonna leave out Maradona? Maradona won the World Cup. Oh, you, oh, wait, wait! I thought you meant like the greatest. Right? You mean like the greatest player ever in history? All time, sir. No, 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 no. Messi's not the goat. No way. Who, no, who is this? No, no. no, it's Pele. What the fuck? It's Pele. See, that is the best player of all time. Did you don't even like Pele like that? Oh, uh, you know, oh, you're cat. I right? thought you meant like I thought you meant like the goat discussion that people do like now. Okay, so goat. so so you're gonna put him above Ronaldo? Yeah, I put him Ronaldo, but I'm putting Pele over everybody. Since when? <laughs> Can exactly. you calm down? Can you calm down? Okay, so no, I, I think Pele is the greatest ever. He okay, won, he won say, a back-to-back. Okay, I'll say this, too. When you look at Maradona's career, like, obviously it was a little bit different back then, but I went to look back at our episode when we were, uh, when I was reviewing, what? Sorry, I, I'm already getting mad because I'm thinking about how Maradona won a World Cup, but go ahead, Doc, go. <laughs> I, I'm going. I, I went to look back at the episode where I reviewed the um, Maradona documentary, and I just remember like 
when Maradona left Barcelona, when he went to Napoli, like Napoli was like trash. Like they weren't good. They never won the league. They were like not one of the teams that got big players. It was like the poor, they, they were calling it like the poorest city in Western Europe, like mm-hmm. that city even. Um, and he went there and they won, they won the league and champions league. Like, I feel like that is like a better achieve. Like for me, like that's a greater achievement than like Barcelona winning the Champions League like three times or whatever, and winning the league a bunch of times with Messi. Like this Barcelona, like you got the best team in the world and like the best coaches and stuff. Him doing that with Napoli is like, uh, like when they had uh, Milan, Inter, Juve, Roma. Like, like all these teams are way better than Napoli. Like now we kind of look at them like, oh, they're kind of decent. But back then they were trash. They never won the league. They were never competing. And he went there and they won the league two times and won Champions League. That's kind of and and they won the World Cup. Oh, and he won the World Cup with uh, Argentina. I I agree with you. Uh, like I, I feel like that's like, that's kind of doper uh, than what Messi's done. I, I don't like to count on what you know the Boomers were doing back in the day as like them being better or anything, but. I want to say that I think it's fair to give them higher esteem than current players because th- that reason also they dealt with really strange, almost inhuman political issues that derailed. Like, for example, Maradona was so lucky enough to be allowed to leave Argentina and play in Europe. Unlike Pele, who was like forced to stay in the country by the law, like, and wasn't allowed to leave and play overseas, even though that's what he wanted. And if you watch the documentary, he discussed he wanted to play overseas, but he was forced to because of the dictatorship in Brazil that wanted to regain seats and power and felt if Pele left, they would it would bring down dis, uh, approval ratings would go down and he would lose his presidency. So he made little, uh, Pele a national treasure. We're not dealing with that. Like Messi uh, uh, has been a, the greatest one, of the greatest clubs historically since the beginning. He, he literally got the torch passed down to him from Ronaldinho at the time was in God mode. <laughs> like, it's 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 he's and to be honest, it's more shocking. He's only won three Champions League. Let's keep it real. Yeah, I don't know if it's three or four, but whatever. It's not that many though. It's not that many. The, the only time he was able to really get a thorough one was when they had to amass the superpowers with MSN. I mean, uh, with 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 uh, Neymar, Messi, and um, Luis Suarez. Like you had to amass the superpowers of form and technique and brilliance to make this happen. And um, I'm like, yeah, like Maradona, his, his Napoli one is his Napoli run is buck wild. Also, while partying too on some G moves, like incredible. Uh, um, also, respect, you know, Maradona has passed away. R.I.P. Maradona for a legend. Um, hates Messi too, which is funny. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I think that Maradona is better than Messi. I think that what he his journey is way more, whether it's self inflicted or not been way more difficult and he still got it done you know like imagine if you switched i i I've, we've seen how adversity looks like for messi and it's not the same he he doesn't he he's unfortunately not shown to be a champion when all this odds are stacked against him it's not what he's shown us in his career he's shown us to be a champion when everything's going right but not when everything's going wrong such as the jersey thing everybody loves what about the next game? No one ever talks about the next game at home when he got dogged in in Barcelona. So it's like, look, man, why? What was it? Y N W Messi? We called it whatever when he was like going nuts. And then yeah. they, that was for one game, and then they and then they got smoked. It, the it's next like game. you got it only in your bag one time, <laughs> and then yeah. they had the back to back years were losing like six to one to PSG, or whatever. Like, wasn't like the, those weird, or was it wasn't that the year PSG beat them badly too in Champions League? Well, they, they, they there was like three or four years in a row after, like, but basically the, after the, they the, won- the collapse has been rough, and he has not won anything for real yet at PSG. But he won the World Cup. I'm not going to give him the greatest of all time yet. I'm sorry. You haven't even shown me you can have legit European Championship success at another club yet. You haven't shown that yet. You've only went to PSG first year. And first year you scored like three goals. So I'm I'm not ready to give you all that right now. But I will say that right now, you that messy round debate, you can say you're better. But I'm not going to say for the GOAT, you're not going to say the greatest of all time. People want to do that on Beach Report, which I unfollowed, but I'm not going to give them that yet. I'll say this. 
between him and Ronaldo, I can say like he's more successful. But for me, Ronaldo's a greater goal scorer. Like, yeah, you're never gonna take that away from him. Like you're not gonna I, tell I, me you're not gonna tell me about a guy who's left foot, right foot, and headers compared to a guy who's left foot. Like I, you're not gonna talk to me about that. You, you can talk about the brilliance of the story or whatever Messi's done in his career in terms of the ball winner. He's probably gonna win another one because it's defaulted now and everything. You can say about the success, but I will stand testament to this day. I will always tell any youth player I come across, any fan member of mine, anybody, you want to follow the journey to be to become the best. The only thing that's attainable for the average man in person and an athlete is going to be the Ronaldo journey through sheer hard work, drill. And even if you do all that, you still couldn't even get to that level. I mean, he was an athletic freak. Like you're not what Ronaldo's done has been to me way more wilder and impressive to me than the stuff Messi. Messi's done what's like basically just kind of like gifted because he's short. Like it's like you know, you can't learn that stuff. It's like oh he he's been he's been gifted this ability. He's like really close dribbling. He's short. He's like quick. He's able to get with this. But Ronaldo's like sheer just determination, hard work, and professionalism. And that stuff is like. That that stuff is 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 extremely hard, but a better role model to follow in terms of being a good player. I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna sound like such a hater statement. I hope nobody hears this. No one's Messi, listening to this. Messi has benefited from soccer players not knowing how to play defense. Like yeah. really, like even in this game, like, you're watching, you're still letting this man take side dribbles to his left side. Caesar, it uh, baffles me, Caesar. In my heart, like, I don't even care what anybody tells me. I'm like, the only reason he's like this because nobody knows how to play defense. Nobody. Especially on a left-footed player. Like, All they left-footed don't players know how get to, to do, do this. It. It's so weird. Like, Caesar, I mean, we're going to compare. Literally, we go play and I would, like play against Alex and he hates it because he's like, because and I like make fun of him like, you're just going to go left. You're just going to go left. Like, I'm just going to push him away. That's it. And if even if he doesn't move, I'm never going to stop long enough for him to gather himself up to go left. Like, even if you do anything, sure, but I'm still going to stay on your left side. Nobody in soccer knows that. So somebody who literally is a one direction guy is able to dominate when in any other sport that makes like they'll be like, yeah, no, dude. Like that's... Do you remember? Do you remember for people that are watching this or don't even listen to this? In one example, do you remember like what teams would do against like Michael Vick? What they would do? Yeah, they flush him out to his right. That's it. Just flush him out to his right. And what would happen? Yeah. It would get real weird. <laughs> was, was, I'm like, uh, wait, uh. and you know, and, and, and you know, you, and you know, you, you, what I say? It's like. You close that window so much more. That window gets like this for a left. It just goes to the out of bounds like this. Yeah. And 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 you know what used to happen? Michael Vick used to run way far back. No, he would he would he would circle around and he gets sacked oh minus 26. I'm like, oh my god. Because he because he wants to get on that left side. Left so hand, bad. yeah. Yeah. Oh minus he, he wants to get and left and then get to the place where he's allowed to throw an incomplete pass. <laughs> but like it's just yeah. for me. It's just a basic defensive concept. Yep. It, it, like you've said it many times. If he scores forty goals this season on his right foot, God bless you. You're just a freak, dude. Yeah. But you're not gonna let him score all these damn goals on his left foot. We're not gonna let that happen. What, what do we say if we're playing defense against him? If Messi goes and you're playing defense against him. He and you push him to his right, and then he nutmegs you and cranks your right foot a shot. I'm gonna say you did nothing wrong. Yeah, that's good. That's I good. mean, that's why he's the best player. Like, exactly. uh, and I want him to do this every fucking play. I don't <laughs> care. I if if I have to lose my job because I gave up a hat trick because he nutmegged six times and shot three times his right foot, he made them all. Well, what do you want me to do? I mean, I, that's what he's supposed to do. But he's not having to do that. He's not having no, to do that. I'm watching no. the game. He's getting to, to to pop the ball to the left side over and over. I I, I don't care if you got to put a, a cleat through the foot. Don't make him think if I got to go to this side, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> like well, Caesar, you that's the thing. Figure out a way. You don't even need to foul him. You just no. need to. You just need Sit to. Under, you just need to understand. I don't want him to go left. I don't want him to go left. You're gonna literally like 
Every yeah. other sport, basketball. Oh, he even can if, only dribble on his right hand. So what do people do? Push him to the left so he has to be all weird and shit. Even in even in football, like even in American football, I played corner. If the this is basic, if the wide receiver lines up way like like closer to the out of bounds line, if you're playing man, you're gonna be uh, uh lined up with your shoulder in his like in the middle. You're blocking his inside because you know he's only going to go inside. If he's playing close to the – He's got to get through you. He's got to yeah. get through you. If he's playing close to the offensive line, you you line up, your shoulder is on the middle to the right. I mean, I'm sorry, to the left. It's just basic. like. And in soccer, it's even easier because in, in football, the, the touchdown is from end to end. In soccer, yeah. it's this little fucking yeah. box in the middle. In soccer, it's just the same as basketball, except yeah. it's a little. the only thing that's a little bit harder is there's more space. Yeah. But if you have a player who is so one direction, that's not hard. Like, whatever. Just like I said, like with Alex, yeah, he's faster than me, whatever. But if I know this is the way he's going, I just take that angle there, just push him there. That's fine. And yeah, if his shot or pass nutmegs me, yeah, you're a good player. That, that that's fine. I hope you do that every time. I hope yeah. you're able to make every fucking play. Yeah, exactly, but just the fact that somebody can be left footed and goes left ninety eight percent of the time, and nobody in the whole soccer, like the whole inter, the whole global sport, has ever said, "Why don't we just not let him go left?" That's why Messi is as good as he is. I don't know how many of these people are that dumb, though. Like, I don't get it. I'm sorry. And and, and I watched Messi. I've watched so many Messi games. It's ridiculous. I've watched him play so much in my life. Probably without even wanting to. I've probably watched him as much as I've watched Neymar, to be honest. I've yeah, seen course, him yeah. so much because yeah. I watch Real Madrid. I'm always seeing Messi all the damn time. Sometimes Marcelo and Real Madrid play stagnant times because of viewership, so they put the Barcelona game first. I'll watch it first before some comes on. Yeah. Um. And and it's the same thing. And 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 when it, it's working, it's because everybody's giving him that left side, you know. And it's all good. I saw that first season at PSG. It wasn't able to get. He was super far back. He wasn't able to get his foot off, get comfortable, and people were giving him, and it was a hard time for him. So, I. It's just, I don't know why in soccer they just let it happen, but they've let it happen, and 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 that's a fault of their own. I mean, there's so many times where you could have shut this down, but if you don't want to, I guess just give the man a World Cup. Then well, they just don't understand those concepts no. because they don't they never played any other sport. Like everybody does the same. Too thing. much respect they, for them too. Too much like respect too. They all do the same thing. They run and grab you, and like they do these things. It's like these things don't work. Like. No. Because I've played and you've played other sports, we know like why don't you hand check? Why do you why don't you like stop him from going this direction? Yeah, I do the same thing as you. Sometimes when Alex is running down that that left side, sometimes I'll just shoulder check him out more so he starts he he he'll be running this way and he'll get something like perfect because the goal's over here. Yeah, so you keep going this way, great. Like you, if you take the shot and make this crazy far hard shot, great. But I'm gonna make sure. I eliminate the percentage of success for you. I want to be and on defense. All I can think about is I'm not a great defender, but how can I make the the, the success rate go down lower? By That's it. That's possible? all it's about. That's if all I gotta it's about. If I got to put my body in the way, if I got to push you off a little bit, if I got to – like what you would do, like when me and you play against each other, it's like, oh, I like I don't really want to be in this – straight up one-on-one -on -one every single time but let me just defeat the entry ball for caesar like let me just give him the illusion that he's open let me just cut it off because what's the best way of even stopping me or some other just don't let me get the fucking ball i can't get caesar, the ball i can't do anything caesar i was telling i mean we're going way crazy but i was telling debbie all these fall <laughs> I was telling, literally i was telling debbie i was like debbie you don't need to like go up on the guy when he like if you just get near him they're not gonna pass on the ball and if, like, let's just say for me and you, if I get close to you, you're probably not going to, like, the person's probably not going to pass you the ball. But if they do, at least I'm, like, already by you. So, like, you're not thinking, like, oh, I'm going to, like, no, Open you're thinking, like, too, I go, oh, my God, let me yeah, get you, Yeah, then you're thinking, like, okay, let, let me get rid of the ball because this person's on me. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Is basic. Why, why, why do I think also like when it's heavy, it's like when Nang plays, like Nang, he he does a lot of intercepting, like yeah, he yeah, because he's, he's baiting, not there. Yeah. He goes, he, he's baiting, like it's smart because it's one of the best ways of eliminating the the possibility of me doing anything is me not getting the ball at all. Caesar, even when I'm watching matches against Messi, I'm like, 
don't y'all know how good he is? Like, why are you just treating him like any other player? Like you're you're the the issue with foot like so, uh, defense and soccer is that everybody watches the ball. Like yeah, every true. single every single so person true. when if you got if it, if the left back the if the left back has the ball, every single person is watching him. And it's like, dude, why don't you look in front of you? If I'm playing against Messi, I'm just literally doing so much I can to not let him get the ball. If you're gonna you're gonna go way back there and get the ball. I'm not gonna chase you all the way behind the halfway line, but like I'm gonna be around you. This one person who's dedicating himself to Messi is not gonna mess up your shape because just think about it. In any formation, er <laughs> why do you see like switch plays to the to the uh, winger? They're always wide open. This person always goes like the, like the left back will always like. So if you side. watch those far shots, soccer is not spread out on the field. No, the it's only because of the camera out. angle we have. But if you ever see that the goalie shot they take, they're always bunched up in little pockets here and there. Well, they go well, like this. The, well, the people move over. Well, even like, let's say the offense has the ball. This left back here will always cheat up. That leaves the winger wide open by himself. You, that like so if you you can always switch play like that. So why don't you just dedicate somebody to like not let Messi getting the ball in this spot where it's dangerous. Nobody ever does that. Yep. I'm like, dude, like that's he's the one that's gonna beat you. Like DePaul's not gonna beat you. Enzo Fernandez is not gonna beat you. You saw like, DePaul when he had that run, he got absolutely torched and then hawked for the ball quickly. Yeah, yeah like these guys are not gonna beat you. Messi's no. gonna beat you. And not even Messi's gonna beat you because he's such an amazing passer. Yeah. And, and first of all, and and if he gets on that left foot, he can boom it, dude. He's an accurate shooter he, he a has a nasty foot. shot a absolutely filthy passing ability yeah and and he's a great dribbler like that that's yeah. that's dangerous to give people time and space to to, to mess around that, that he's the last person you want to give time and space to and he and and he does it every time every time for years because nobody thinks about these things and i'm literally like Somebody like Mbappe, like that's a lot harder to defend he's on the wing yeah. he's in space and he can go either direction that's hard Oh like yeah, that, like, that's work. That, yeah. that that that's that's a lot of work. That's like that's like that's almost like even like old Ronaldo days. It's just it's yeah, a yeah. lot of work out there. Dog. Yeah, remember but, those runs they would do? It's like yeah. oh my god, like. But somebody who's in the middle of the park, like no dude, just like get in. Like, that's them get the taking ball. the ball at the half line. Yeah, yeah, like oh, that, that's like that's a gift for a defender. Mm -hmm. If someone if you have a guy that's gonna get the ball at the half line and take more than three dribbles, Caesar, he gets the ball at the half line. Your forward can defend him at that point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, and you and you sacrifice nothing, literally nothing. But I mean, this is the sport we're we're into, and unfortunately, the defense that makes no sense. And as a person who always loved defense, <laughs> it, 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 like. It didn't torture, torture, it's torture, torture. Like torture. I don't even care about these goals. Like, can I see some <laughs> real defense at some? Yeah, that's what when I that's what the best part of it was. I saw Kamavinga. I was like, okay, Kamavinga, let's go. Like seriously, oh, uh, something, dude. That, that was the biggest time you yelled in the chat. Like Kamavinga did that one tackle. You're like, God damn, let's go. Like finally, dude. Somebody's like, finally dude. soccer for me. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but shout out to Messi. You know, he did his thing. He did his he, thing, you know. He, he, he's he, lucky that no basketball coach ever went to like soccer. No defensive practice. coordinator. Nothing. Yeah. He's lucky that none of them just showed up and was like, wait a minute, like, oh, why don't you just tell them to do this? And some soccer coach would be like, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. He'd be like, no, you can't. Watch, I'll, I'll show yeah. you. Yeah. All those times they go to practice in USC, good thing they never played soccer for real. And then a coach just walked by, it was like getting a soda. It was like, what the hell are they doing out there? Let me go. <laughs> Thank God that has not happened yet. Yeah, literally, because because this guy would be like some like you know forty two year old. He'd be like, a savant. <laughs> yeah, he'll they'll, they'll he'll be like, why don't you just not let him go on his left? It, it, it could be a special teams coach, yeah. dog. It'd yeah. be like <laughs> they'll be like he'll he'll be like, why don't you why don't you not let him go on his left? He just keeps going left. They'll be like, well, no, you can't stop him. He's so good. He'd be like, can I try? And literally, yeah. just do it. They'll be like, yeah. How is he doing yeah. that? Dude? We have this practice squad guy here. Hey, hey, uh, Michael, come over here real quick. <laughs> just, yeah, just don't stay let him in go. front of him and don't let him go on his left foot. Yeah, okay. don't let him. Don't let him go left. And don't and don't but like don't grab him. Like you can't foul him, but don't let him go left. Oh, okay, he'll he'll like do it and dominate him. Yeah, Messi will start punching on him and choking him like he did that one guy. Yeah, he'll be like he'll do he'll do like the the pretend like when he put an arm in front of him. He'll be like, 
<laughs> jittering and shit. He'd be like, all right, this is some of the Neymar shit. This is the only way. Yeah, like give me like I would if I'm a defender or some like midfielder who's like going up against Neymar, I'm gonna be terrified. Messi, I'm gonna be like, this is easy, dude. <laughs> like yeah, whatever. Yeah, uh, with, Neymar, with, that's terrifying. With those guys, Neymar, Vinicius, Mbappe, bro, those guys, it's like, what the hell is about to go down? Like, even like somebody, and I'm talking about somebody who's in the middle of the park. Like even Modric, like Modric can go in any direction. He's not as much of a goal threat, but he's going any direction. Even back back before, uh, pre younger, uh, skinnier P- Paul Pogba. It's like you don't know what direction yeah. these this yeah. big uh, movement player is gonna go. But when it comes to guy who's just you know strictly lefty, like even a Di Maria, it's like I, I already know what to do to make it so you're kind of relevant in this game right now. Yeah, and even with Di Maria, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, somebody speed before somebody on the somebody on the wing that's a little bit harder, but somebody in the middle of the park like that's just sure. easy, dude. I'm sorry. All day. Is especially that, especially left footed on the right side too. Yeah, or anywhere. I'm like, this is easy, dude. Like yeah. he's going one direction. And it, and and let's say like you push him to his left and he does go right more than like a couple dribbles. That's so easy for somebody else to come up and steal the ball. Like so easy. But sadly, you know, nobody's taught these concepts. And Messi gets to be the goat, unfortunately, from a uh, whack ass Argentina. Literally whack ass Argentina. Even when they like, even I'm, I don't want to be this guy, but even when they won, they're so gross. I can't do it. They're so whack. The goalie's humping the the g- glove. I'm like, what is going on here, dog? Did you see that video? I turned when, it off right away. When, when he got the when he got the glove when he got the the golden glove, he like started like humping it, like walking off stage next to my call. I'm like, what are we? There's politicians here, dog. Like, that's gross. What is this? This is your like, president is, is a woman, dude. Have some damn shame. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's like you know, it's like you got like, I'm like, there's kids here, man. What are you, what are you doing, dog? What a goofball! Corny. He was ter- he was turned up though. He was saving the shit. Out he of was though. He was turned. He up. wasn't. He also went to the 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 festival with Mbappe on a baby doll around his arm. Oh, I saw that. I'm like, that's that's clown behavior. I'm like, I'm like, that's why I, I'm not gonna say anything more because it's gonna get racist. But I just want to say like, I think it's good to be. You know, a uh, uh, respectful and defeat and gracious and victory. You know what I mean? Like, have a good time, turn up, dance or whatever. They call that disrespectful to dance and celebrate with people. But it's literally. like, but not, but this is literally taunting. Like, yeah. you're taunting no, people. Crazy. Like, Brazilians are dancing, but they're just dancing, celebrating with each other. There's no taunting. Like, this is literally you're you're taunting people here. That's a whole. That's that's a different type of gamesmanship. And when <laughs> uh, after France beat England, I was talking to this guy at this bar at the bar, whatever. He's an England fan. And I was like, I was like, well, at least uh, you know, uh, Martinez uh plays, you know, he plays in England. I was like, he plays for Aston Villa. He was like, What? I can play for Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> I love English people so much. <laughs> like dying. they make soccer so funny. They were like, that guy's a bum. <laughs> I was like, Aston Villa, mean? what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no, but how, I bet if he gives up two goals, he'll be like, how come we don't play like that for us? <laughs> like, Literally. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, World Cup's over. I mean, yeah, uh, Tim Howard played for Everton when he was in the USA, so it's whatever, literally. <laughs> seriously. Um, yeah, hopefully next week we can do the We Made It music uh, movie and TV award. Yeah, Holly. Damn, stop serving the nation. Come serve. We made it. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, if Holly's not here, then you know we'll just do it, uh, just us two. Um, we uh, we should also do like uh, New Year's resolutions too. Oh, so I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> um, but anyway, we made a podcast. We made a but, podcast. Merry Christmas, to everybody celebrating. Happy Hanukkah, to everybody celebrating. Happy holidays for for I get, regardless. There's one more holiday, and uh, that's the only one that really matters. Can we get can, can 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 Kwanzaa get some love too? Do you are you a big Kwanzaa guy? See, does that matter? Does it matter? Okay. Happy Kwanzaa for those that celebrate Kwanzaa. And if you don't celebrate the holidays because people have different beliefs, I hope you have a wonderful break and enjoy yourselves into the, going into the new year. Yeah. Caesar and I will be partying soon. You know what I'm saying? We'll be partying on Friday, hopefully. Having a blast. I, I, I expect the worst and hope for the best. Damn, like that. <laughs> anyway, we made a podcast. Holler back.